Hey everyone, it's Lauren from Hoffer Food, and today I'm here to cook for you, obviously. It's National Watermelon Day. Don't know if you knew that, but it is. So we are gonna do watermelon three ways. We are gonna make a watermelon peach salsa. We're gonna make a couscous watermelon salad, as well as some awesome watermelon floats. So you've got appetizer, main, and dessert, all made with watermelon. Let's do this. So the watermelon peach salsa is super easy and it's gonna be kind of like a slightly sweet salsa for your chips. And we're gonna use fresh cut watermelon, about one cup. So we're just gonna add everything to a nice bowl. You wanna keep all that watermelon juice in the salsa as much as you can. All right, now you're gonna use one whole peach and dice that up about the same size as the watermelon. I'm gonna leave the peel on, but you could take it off if you want. We're also gonna add a little bit of finely diced red onion. This will add some nice color. Okay, I'm adding tomato to this salsa. That way we're keeping with a traditional salsa, uh, but just adding a little bit of a sweetness to it with the fruit. And technically tomato is a fruit, although it seems like a vegetable in my strange mind. But you can leave it out if you prefer. I'm gonna add a little bit of finely diced jalapeno. Again, you can leave it out. Just make sure you scoop out the seeds so that it's not super like killer hot. So that's all I'm adding, but you can add more or less. All right, to make this really fresh, we're gonna add cilantro, basil, and mint, and just chop it up very finely and add it to the salsa. All that's left to add is lime zest, lime juice, and salt and pepper. And there's our watermelon peach salsa. a really good salsa. It's like the perfect amount of spice and then the sweetness and the sort of lime, all of it. Just perfecto. Now we're gonna make the watermelon couscous salad. I already have my couscous uh, cooked. It only takes five minutes. Um, you could use quinoa, you could use barley, um, any kind of grain that you like. I don't think rice really works though for this. Something more summery, so couscous quinoa, something like that. And it's essentially a lot of the same ingredients, a few different vegetables, really easy to throw together. So add your couscous to a bowl, and then we're gonna add diced cucumber, finely chopped mint and basil, cubed watermelon, finely chopped green onion, finely chopped celery, and some shredded or sliced radishes. We'll also add a little bit of lemon juice. So we're also gonna add olive oil, about one or two tablespoons. You could mix this dressing in a bowl beforehand, but I'm just gonna do it here in the bowl right now. A little bit of uh, white wine vinegar, and then salt and pepper to taste. And that's how simple and easy this watermelon couscous salad is. We'll just give it a good toss and it's done. Mm -mm. It's really good. You could, I mean, this is sort of improvisational. You could leave out some of the veggies I added in, but I tried to keep things that were really crisp and watery, just like the watermelon. So it all really goes well together. The dressing is super simple. Um, it's nice with a little bit of white wine vinegar as opposed to maybe like apple cider vinegar, I feel like, because it just, uh, I don't know, it's the right acidity for this along with the lemon juice. Um, but uh, you could just add other ingredients. You could even, if you wanted, take that peach watermelon salsa and add it into the couscous or whatever grain and leave out this stuff, because it is kind of similar. Um, so really up to you, I just wanted to give you some ideas of how you can make really refreshing dishes with watermelon. But now on to the grand finale. It is a fizzy watermelon float. It's super easy to put together and it's gonna look amazing. For the watermelon float, I've cut up about three quarters of a mini watermelon to blend together with a cup of strawberries. So you're gonna pour the watermelon strawberry puree into some large glasses and then layer that with a big scoop of coconut or vanilla ice cream. And then to make it float, top it up with lime flavored sparkling water. This is gonna be so good! Oh my goodness. Tastes like you're drinking watermelon candy. Mm. 
Mmm. All right, well, make one or all three of these for your summer party. I hope you like these watermelon recipes, and if you're making any of them, make sure you share them with us on social media. We are at Hot For Food on Twitter and Instagram. Hashtag Hot For Food, because we love seeing the photos that you post of the recipes we make. And hit the subscribe button right down there. If you love what you see and you're not already subscribed, we post every Wednesday here on Hot For Food. And it's always delicious, and it's always fun. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.